Hey guys, what's up? Another Rico GR3 video, a little walk along. We got lucky today. We got a cool burnt out old school bus in an abandoned house. So it's really cool. I'm gonna have to come back here, but I was driving by. I'm getting so lucky this spring. That's why you always wanna drive around. You know, sometimes the coolest shots are real close to home. So found this place and uh, we're gonna go have some fun on this one. We're gonna get some cool shots. Well, I've already been out there and I already got the cool shots. So I know we got some cool shots. So I'm gonna go ahead and post these and you can go along with the little walk here and watch how I get them and watch what I do with the Ricoh GR3. And by the way, I do film this on a GoPro 7 Black. So that's what you're hearing me on, seeing me on right now with no microphones or anything, just in the car. Seems like it works pretty well. And then of course, image stabilization works great when you're out walking around. So, you know, there, there's something about just getting out, driving around, not knowing where you're going. A lot of times your heart just isn't into it, but you get out there and you come across something like this and it just blows your mind. And hopefully you come away with some once in a lifetime photos. At any rate, let's get to the video. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I probably need to put together a video that would talk about just the features that I'm using. I'm usually a manual guy but I am trying different things out with the Ricoh GR3, uh, shutter priority, aperture priority, things like that. So anyway, here's the video guys. Please like it, please subscribe. I've got more coming out, kind of alternating between my Ricoh GR3 and my new Canon RP. So having a lot of fun with it and it's gonna be a great summer. So hang in there with me. I do appreciate it guys. We got some, I'll show you the sky. It's kind of looking a little nasty, but uh, we're gonna hopefully get some shots here of this cool place. This house is for sale, so I think trespassing is allowed. I mean, look at this. There's a school bus over here. I gotta get to shooting. There's a school bus here. This is awesome. How about that? Just pointing and shooting. I'm at, uh, whoops. I need to make sure I'm at, uh, let's go to 100. 100 shutter speed, and I've got it on auto ISO. Oh, these are going to be cool. These are going to be awesome, and I'm coming back here. Oh my gosh, look at this place. This is just from driving around. This is just where this, is where this camera comes in great, because you can just walk around and just focus and shoot, focus and shoot, and just see what, uh, what you come up with, and just hope for the best. But I gotta get to this bus here. This is great again. Gotta watch for nails. Nails and animals. The beauty of this is this place is for sale. So okay, we're gonna risk stepping in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, a highlight priority. Okay, we're in highlight weighted. And this means I won't get anything blown out. Okay, I'm not sure what you're seeing, but <laughs> this is just cool. Okay, so I'm at uh, priority shutter again there's going to be some blowout but that's okay I'm at the priority I can take care of that in Lightroom priority shutter and we are at see if you focus on the highlights you're gonna you get nothing so let's see here and we'll let Lightroom Highlight priority, take care of that. Oh my gosh, this is just, I mean. We've certainly got a video now. Once again, Rico GR3 in shutter priority mode. I'm at one one hundredth. I think this is fluctuating around 4.4 uh, 4 to 5, and the ISO is uh, keeps hovering around 200, so 
we should have some great shots. We got a fixed focal length. That's one of the problems here. You basically got to deal with what you've got handed to you. Just how do you stumble across something like this? So this is a good time to tell you about my JJC TAGR numeral three grip. And what I'll do here is pull this off. Whoops, be careful. This just pulls right off of here, slides right in, gives you that thumb grip. And what that does, it keeps you from messing with these buttons here. That would be your, there we go. Um, your exposure values, what, whatever that's called. I don't use any of that stuff. And that's why I like this because you can just put your thumb right there and just bang, or you can make your, whoops, and focus like that and just uh, do what we want to do. Whoops. And I believe, let's take a look at these and see what kind of readings we've got here. Yeah, we're at 2.8 on these. I could go up to 400 ISO and get a little more depth of field, but that's really okay. I don't, I don't mind it. These are, uh, if we can find some leading lines here, we'll lead you into the photograph. So that's not too bad. Okay. So I wonder if you buy the house, if this bus comes with it. I don't see much restoration possibilities, but... Whoa. Ooh, I'm back here with the bugs and a t-shirt, a black t-shirt that. Is it the white t-shirts that attract bugs or black? I'm sure it would be the black. Okay, so this thing was on fire. Somebody burnt this bad boy up. And that's just a shame for somebody, but not for us. Because for us, it is awesome. You always got to be careful when you step into something like this. That one extra step could set off a beaver or a ferocious squirrel, maybe a possum, maybe a snake, leper, something like that, and it could come out of its hiding and uh, not, be, not be good. Okay. So again, I'm just firing away, and that's the beauty of this. It's a small camera. You can walk around here without having to lug around two hands. Just, just where, do you, where do you stop? How do you stop shooting? I guess when the bugs start getting the best of you, that's one option. These are wood. If you can see that, these are put on there by wood. They're screwed in. Imer. Don't know what it says. I don't really want to move everything. So I should be able to come up with a nice collage. Is that a gasket? That's a gasket hanging there. There's that. Wow. Just wow. Sometimes working with a fixed lens has its advantages like this because you don't have any choices and you just start snapping away. Okay, I'm going to come back here at some point. I'll likely bring back my Canon RP because you just don't get these opportunities too often. Get over here and get the uh, driver's seat. Okay, 
Now, haven't even touched the house yet. This is a situation where it looks like it would have to be demolished. Still early enough in the year where the bugs are not out yet. That's a huge advantage right now. Like there's several opportunities here. Not the least of which is that bus. Ah, it's just a boring Also spiders. I'm not a big fan of spiders. Oh, that's a neat reflection actually. <laughs> Great. That's either a Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, not going to do it. That's a, a storm shelter. Wow, I could live down there. Probably somebody living down there right now. awesome. So let's say there is no entry allowed. It's got a little lock box. Oh, well, this is rather neat. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, that could be interesting. Ooh, that could be a good one, or it could just be crap. This is what we're after here. Let's see if I can get down this way. Okay, again, this is where this little whoops, thumb grip comes in handy. So we've got a mailbox. Gosh, just look at that. Okay, fixed lens. I would zoom in otherwise. We'll just walk in. It's interesting that we had no critters or varmints or... Can't really make that fit. Make this work. Okay, let's go this way with it, frame this up. You know what? We didn't really, gosh darn it, we didn't even really touch this garage. My fear is that I'll get lazy and won't come back anytime soon, and then this thing will be sold or gone. No trespassing. Get the hell out. You always get a picture of the no trespassing sign. Just because you took the effort to put it up, you might as well show the respect of shooting it. Oh, there's a bird in there. If I had a zoom, I'd get that bird on the ledge. Come on, birdie. We have varmints or not, but everybody all of a sudden started making noises, so well, that's the wind. Oh shit, that's a yellow jacket. 
Okay, guys, I'm getting out. You can hear that noise all of a sudden, but okay. Sir, I got to go. All right, I should have uh, messed with the snap focus here. I'm gonna do a tutorial on snap focus. So, you wanna subscribe and like, and let's all just admit we love this bus. Another sweeping, oh man, it's just too simple here. I gotta go back, I can't not get this no trespassing sign. Again, what obligatory uh, thing about no trespassing signs. I just feel like you should collect them. Okay, so there we have it. Oh, oh, always look up. Oh, oh, check this out. This thing is all burnt. You see that? That's cool. Let's see if I can get a photo of it. See, I just would have walked away. Even the thing is burnt. I think that one's going to get it. Okay. Wow. Let me get out of the wind and just one more time say, wow. Thank you very much. I have a hard, hard time leaving when I find places. I just want to, I think this is just kind of cool here. Okay. Now leave. That bus, freaking bus, that's awesome. Just awesome. All right, so long everybody.